We're at the Crawford Family Forum, which belongs to our friends at KPCC, and we are going to make this tremendous announcement tonight. It is so cool, I can barely wait. It's still fit. Every time the Planetary Society has an event like this, I try to come and bring a few people as my dad. I try to introduce them to science. That's all its attachment in spring. Well, yeah. I'm just here to listen to Bill talk about uh, solar sails. I worked on them in uh, NASA for the past two years, so I'm excited to see what uh, his thoughts on them are. I thought it would feel more like metal. More like a foil, but it's really it's kind of like a like a shirt almost. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we're here to see the light sail event. Uh, we were invited by our grandparents. I've been a member of the Planetary Society for at least 20 years. We're going to be talking about the launch of the light sail spacecraft. I think it's really interesting. Yeah, I think it's really going to improve the scientific advancements later on in life. After we heard that Bill and I was talking, our childhood hero is going to be speaking in our city. I've been watching this since I was a kid, so I've always been interested in being able to see him live. That'd be awesome. No, 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 with the face. Oh, okay. No, no, no face. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all are, yes. Yeah, members, members and, and volunteers. volunteers. Mm. I listen to Planetary Radio every week. I've seen Bill Nye so many times. Kind of an icon for me in education and stuff, so I really wanted to see him in person. He's right there, so that's pretty sick. I'm Ari. Nice to meet you. Ari? I'm Kyle. Kyle, thanks for coming. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very, very special Planetary Society webcast. Please welcome Bill Nye, the science guy. Well, thank you all so much. Those of you watching on your electric computer machines, welcome. <laughs> Sailing with sunlight. Now, this may seem surprising. Uh, light has no mass, yet light has momentum. And so people have proposed for many years that we build spacecraft to take advantage of this. And my predecessor was Lou Friedman. He wrote this book about solar sailing in 1988. This idea goes way, way back. You have been in on some big events, big announcements in the past. Uh, is this one up there? Is this pretty special? This is awesome. It's a mission, man. It's a mission. We're gonna make a mission. A mission is a noun we use to mean spaceship thing. We're just a bunch of people who love space and we put it all together and we're gonna do this together. We're gonna run our own mission. I think that's awesome. I wanna make this announcement. Let's do it. Ready? <laughs> Rather than simply telling you what rocket is going to boost light sail into orbit, we decided to show you. Here it is. That's the big announcement. Spring of 2016, <laughs> we're gonna get a ride, as the expression goes, on a Falcon 9 Heavy. You know, the, the idea of solar sailing has been around for a very long time. We don't know exactly what, you know, what Kepler was thinking about way back when, but, but clearly, uh, you know, they had, they had something that, they, that they, they thought was a potential. You can see that it's really a very innovative design, and it's the type of thing that breakthroughs are made of. One can see it. One can see it in space. It's, it's, it's bringing science fiction right home to us. Solar sails make things so much less expensive because you get to jettison the old rocket equation. Do we have another question out here at the Crawford Family Forum? I was just curious about uh, what it's actually composed of, how it's made. The it's smile. mylar, and they call it a clay polymer. In the Star Wars movies, which character used what was supposed to be at least a partially solar sail powered spacecraft. That would be Count Dooku, AKA Darth Tyrannus. Bonus points. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. a great event. Yeah. yeah. Bill and I was hilarious. Yeah. It has to be yeah, space. Yeah, it has to be. Then. I knew it was going to be this, space. This is, they're just the perfect organization yeah. to do this. Allow me to close this celebration with one small section of a poem. Why do we, the solar sails fragile as a feather's frond, silently seek to sail so far? But we sail on perpendiculars to grow man ten ways too tall to feast on universe and stars. Thank you for joining us this evening, everyone. Good night and smooth sailing.